Illinois has reported 646 confirmed new COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours with 15 additional deaths. Globally, a grim milestone today. More than a half million people around the world have died since the start of the pandemic. Here in the United States, the number of cases are declining in only two states, Connecticut and Rhode Island. CBS 2's Janet Chamulina reports from Houston where hospitals are overwhelmed. Hundreds of cars lined up for COVID-19 testing in Jacksonville, Florida Sunday morning. The state reported more than 8,500 new cases in a single day after days of record-setting numbers last week. You're seeing it in those groups who are less at risk. I think uh, 25 to 34 um, has been pretty close to 20%. But the window is closing. Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar warned time to stop the spread is running out. We need to social distance. We need to wear fi our face coverings if we're in settings where we can't social distance, particularly in these hot zones. A new CBS News poll finds record numbers of Americans, 62 percent, say efforts to fight the outbreak are going badly. Vice President Mike Pence said on CBS's Face the Nation that more testing is a major reason the caseload is increasing. I know there's a temptation to associate uh, the new cases in the Sun Belt with reopening, but it's important to remember that that states like Florida and like Texas actually began to open up in in early May. Experts say those transmitting the virus are generally between 18 and 34. People in that age range packed Boston bars Saturday night. We're all pretty young here, so I think we all have a pretty good immune system, so I think we can all handle it. Here in Houston, ICUs are approaching capacity, and ambulance calls are up 20 percent in the last three weeks. But near Detroit, a success story. Jim Gilmartin spent weeks on a ventilator in a medically induced coma. There was a lot of times I was by myself in isolation. And the only thing I can say is I miss my family. Gilmartin was released from the hospital just two days before his 56th birthday. Janet Shamley and CBS News. Houston. Several Florida counties are closing beaches over the usually busy 4th of July weekend. California is experiencing a setback in its fight against the virus. Governor Gavin Newsom today ordered bars and nightclubs shut down in seven counties, seeing a spike in cases, including Los Angeles County. Restaurants can remain open with proper mask requirements. I think because a lot of us are going out to clubs, bars. We're not going to be scared to tell people, like, if you're not going to follow the rules and get the hell out. The governor stopped short of ordering bars in eight other counties closed, but recommended local health officials close them as a precaution. Bars are often singled out because people typically don't wear masks while drinking, and if there's music in bars, people tend to talk louder, which can spread more airborne particles and potentially the virus. 